Hi, I'm Graham and I'm joined with my colleague today, James Clark, who's a workstation technologist. Now, I'm usually used to workstations being big powerhouse type things. So when you showed me this, I was, it's a bit of a shock, right? Yeah, I, was a, I thought, is that a NAS? Or? <laughs> it's about the size of one. It's probably about the weight of a NAS as well. But uh, this is a fully formed fully functioning workstation, you know, really aimed at sort of the architecture, engineering, construction companies. Um, it's a really clever device in that we've shrunk down what we used to have as a full size um, sort of small form factor, you know, really tall, really thin. We've shrunk that down by about half and we've leveraged all of the technology that we get in our most powerful mobile workstation to keep this even more powerful than it used to be, even though it's shrunk. Right, now something I was going to ask, because I know how big some of the desktop-based CPUs are, or yep. even server-based type of CPUs. So this is a mobile workstation CPU in here. Ah, that's the one thing that doesn't change from the regular size desktop. Right. So everything else is mobile technology, but the processor inside this is actually still the same as you'd find in the P3 Tower. Wow. Right, okay, so... Now, I know certain, a couple of industries you mentioned, and when we look at media, creative industries, there's a certain small desktop they favor. But <laughs> I'm looking at this thinking, well, this has got a lot more ports, it's got a lot more scope. It looks like I can open the side and things like that. So I'm assuming this has got a lot more connectivity, easy to upgrade and Absolutely, maintain. Absolutely, yeah. So I think one of the key things that you've just touched upon there is upgradability, okay? Being able to take the thing apart, and being able to upgrade every component in there is, is absolutely key. You know, there's, there's no point in buying a workstation because let's face it, they're premium devices. They do come with a premium price tag, but there's no point in you buying more than you really need. It's much better for you to be able to buy what you need. And as your workflows grow in time, your workstation should be able to grow with you. That's the whole point of a workstation, upgradability, you know, without sacrificing any of the good stuff like um, reliability, stability. Right now, I know straight away, talking to some of the industries we both talk to, they're not in the cheapest sort of rental areas of cities and things like that, or they're nearer to media Correct, hubs. Yeah. And they sort of, you know, they're charged by the square footage and so on. So this is taking up a lot less space. Brilliant. I assume it's very efficient power wise. But the bit that takes up a lot of space for these kind of industries is all the monitors. People want lots of screens. Yeah. Now, some of the cards we usually put in our workstations are Shoebox size, right? So what can this do? So this is really, really cool because it uses a lot of the mobile technology. It's got a, a lot of uh, integrated graphics capabilities already. What can the competition do? Anything like this? Because this sounds like it's knocking out the park. Yeah, absolutely. And in fact, our competition can't go nearly as high in terms of graphics capabilities in something right. this small. Uh, on top of that, we also have a, a high density rack uh, that can fit seven of these wow. in a 5U rack. So for customers looking at ultra high density, okay, a one-to-one -one workstation capable of doing pretty much most of the things that you can imagine in a typical workstation fashion, um, that's your model. Right, okay, you started talking numbers, so I want to be blown away now. What's the highest Intel CPU we can put in here? The highest Intel CPU is a current 13th gen i9-13900K processor. Right. Okay, now that's, that's really key, right? The K processors obviously being 125 watts. K, okay, lots and lots of power, as I said before. As much power as the, as the full-size desktop. Wow, so design is built for what IT needs and users want then. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's incredible. Go on then, tell me, max RAM? Max RAM, 128 gigs. So eight terabytes. <laughs> but it's... It's nothing, right? It is, it's just the, the smallest compact uh, chassis that we can make, and it's still so incredibly powerful. Right, okay, I think we're about done there because I need to stop the cameras and ask you how I can get my hands on one of these. <laughs> uh, thanks so much for watching. Um, if you want any further details on this or any of the Lenovo products, get in touch with your Lenovo account manager or reseller or check out the link just beneath the video. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And James and I will see you soon for more Lenovo Tech Talks. Thanks see you again. then. Bye. Lenovo, Lenovo.